This is David Holt, IV Consultant. Today's discussion is how to calculate IV rate and your volume to be infused, VTBI. The IV rate is usually discussed by teachers in colleges and nursing schools for hours upon hours, and yet it's a very simple piece of arithmetic. If you've got a 150 cc bag of IV antibiotic, which needs to be infused over two hours, you divide the 150 by two and you get 75 cc's per hour. All you have to do is put that 75 cc's rate into your IV pump and you are good to go on that subject. If you have the classic vancomycin 250 cc bag to be given over the equally classic 90 minutes or one and a half hours. You divide 250 by 1.5 and you get your 166.6 cc's per hour which you round up to 167 for your rate for that particular antibiotic dose. So the rate always an easy calculation. The volume to be infused however is rarely discussed. I've yet to see it discussed in textbooks or in IV policies and I've never heard of an instructor teaching it. In fact the reason I wrote my first book 25 to 50 percent of IV antibiotics do not reach the patient was because a nursing student was having difficulty persuading her nursing instructor that we had to allow for the volume in the IV tubing when calculating and programming the volume to be infused in our IV pumps. Pump manufacturers make our life even more difficult by pre-programming pre -programming the IV pump for only the volume which is in the bag. A better way to calculate the volume to be infused is to take the volume of the bag plus 10% plus the IV lines of volume which is the primary or main line and the secondary line and those are usually 20 to 22 cc's and 8 to 10 cc's respectively. So the combination of all those figures plus any extension set gives you the volume to be programmed into your volume to be infused section of the IV pump. The 100 cc bag of antibiotic will need roughly a 140 cc volume to be infused programmed into the pump. The 250 cc bag of antibiotic is going to be well over 300 cc's and sometimes as high as 325. So do some arithmetic or if you've got that small IV bag of just 50 cc's you can sneak a, a little cheating and use Holt's 30 cc rule just 50 plus 30 gives you 80 cc's to program into the IV pump.